The American dream is something that is a lifelong pursuit. The perseverance for tough times, frankly, the hard work. And so you live it each and every day, but it's not just a destination, it's a journey. I was born and raised in Midway, Florida, small town. There were five in the household. You always wanted to be a winner. My father was a school teacher, I served in Vietnam, and my mother worked for the Department of Corrections. We were very disciplined, very focused on education. You know, I always loved sports, but I gotta tell you, it starts with my dad. He was a basketball player and played college basketball and uh, was a high school basketball coach. And so I grew up around basketball and became one of the top high school players in America. I was highly recruited and had a number of great offers to really, really good schools and decided to go to the University of South Florida. Uh, I had a chance to play and compete, and it was important for my parents to see me play. They were along the journey with me no matter what the destination. But nothing's forever. At the end of my junior year, I had a really bad injury. I dislocated and tore my rotator cuff and ended my basketball career abruptly. It was hard, and I gotta be honest, I didn't handle it well. All the folks that surrounded me when I was a superstar, I couldn't find them, and it hurt. But there were some silver linings that ultimately allowed me to come back from that. And you can find what I call your superpower, right? I thought my superpower was basketball. What I didn't realize is my superpower is helping others, inspiring others to chase greatness. In the same discipline and energy and drive that you have being a great athlete, a lot of that carries over in your professional career. I was driven. I started my career at Tampa Electric as a meter reader. You get a car, you get to drive around, go to people's houses, and get to work outside and have some flexible hours. And that sounded pretty good. What they didn't tell me was the dog to meter ratio. And uh, I'd get my check every two weeks, and it'd be something like $8.50 an hour. And, you know, I felt pretty good about it, you know, and I was working uh, and moved on from there. Had an outstanding career and became a CFO at Fifth Third Bank, and then ultimately moved into the role that I have today, which is leading our Northeast U.S. middle market commercial bank at J.P. Morgan Chase and Commercial Bank. I am incredibly drawn to Horatio Alger because I can see myself there back when I was 17. It's a perfect example of what it means to work hard, to persevere with some of the most influential, powerful people in the world, all rowing in the same direction. It's pretty hard not to want to be a part of something special like that. Brian has always been focused on others, and I hope that he can continue to inspire others to give back and support Horatio Alger. I want to thank my sponsor and nominator, Jordan Zimmerman, for believing in me, for being an unbelievable friend and brother, uh, and frankly, being an inspiration uh, and showing me just how important it is to pursue the American dream.